Hello everyone, my name is Western Angel 11 and today I'm going to be showing you all some more of my flea market finds. So let's begin. So today I'm going to be showing you all four Transformers figures. So without further ado, let's get into it. I start off with the most boring one I'd say and the newest one as well. It is this little like legend or core class Cybertron Optimus Prime. I got this figure for a pretty cheap price. Mostly got because I mean I already had the uh, the leader class version. I thought it'd be nice to have the mini version of it. Yeah, I quite like the look of this figure. Chuck Moore is decent, but you can see Optimus's head poking out just like on the leader class figure. So that's a bit unfortunate. And unfortunately, these two wheels here are unfortunately fake. They're molded into the body and painted over. So that's a bit sad. But I find it kind of funny that they also went to the effort to actually paint the middle section a bit silver to look like it was a real like wheel on the toy. Oh well. Transformation, we just gotta go back. This section of the uh, was how's it called? Not the trailer, but the back of the truck. Float you gotta fold those down and then split the legs. And fold this section up and fold down that piece here. Then we just gotta go to this side, or well, onto his back. We gotta split the arms and off the front of the truck. Have to get split into two. It's a bit difficult though. Kind of hard for me to do this. There we go. Okay, we got split open, and then we just. I'm just gonna rotate down though. Whenever I transform it, like the wheels get caught on the fake wheels, which is a bit unfortunate. I'm not sure what to, I can do about that. Like, okay, like you can kind of avoid it almost. And that's kind of hard to transform them without making contact with those wheels, but yeah, I can do it like that. Move it like this and then foot down. There we go. Now the arms are done, and all you gotta do is pull his head up. Oh, that's a bit hard to get his head like, into place. Okay, I think I got it. There we go. There you go. There's the little Optimus Prime figure. I go see. He looks pretty accurate for a core class figure, and he has practically no back kibble either. His back is completely flat, which is quite surprising. Only real kibble he has is the legs here. Yeah, they did a pretty good job for a core class figure. Possibility, I mean, his head doesn't move in the slightest. His arms can move. They have like a butterfly joint. I guess that's what you call this. Due to the transformation, you can bend the elbow forward and backwards. And the skirt here can move up. And his legs here have a rotation because they are on ball joints. But yeah, that's about it. Like, he doesn't even have a knee joint, which is kind of unfortunate. Overall, I think this is a cute little figure. So yeah. Moving on to the next figure. We have this Dark of the Moon Optimus Prime. I can't really show him off completely because it's a Voyager figure. He's in pretty good condition. Unfortunately, though, he's missing uh, his exhaust pipes. From the back, you can see. I have transformed him before, and he does have the rest of the pieces. And cool thing about him is he also has his two Energon blades. Which are quite nice, because very rarely do you find a Transformers figure that still has his accessories, especially on the flea market, which is why I got this guy. But the cable management on this figure is actually not too bad. Like I like the way they did the legs. I think this is a pretty good form of cable management. Although his arms are not perfect, I mean, I think it's okay. They could have done better cable management of the arms. His head sculpt is okay, but I don't get why his eyes are painted in like that. I actually already have an Optimus which has this mold. But that one's missing like five or six pieces, so yeah, it's not pretty good. Now, articulation-wise, he's pretty nice. He has a ball joint at the head, of course. 
arm can rotate and can move out. We have a double elbow bend. See, there's a double bend at the elbow. This has a the rotation right there. And he also has a wrist rotation. He also has a thigh rotation. He got rotation at the legs. Move back. A bit stiff though. To move back that far. That far, you can see. He has a thigh rotation and a bend at the knee. Also has, I think he has a toe bend. Like his toe can move. Pretty sure. Maybe not, I'm not sure. No. And he also has an ankle pivot as well, as you can see. So the posability on this Optimus is pretty cool. It's just too bad that this copy of mine Unfortunately, it has some loose joints, like the joints in the arms are very floppy on both sides. Like from the rotation joint and both of the bends and the elbows, that's very unfortunate. But I am glad to finally have a Dark of the Moon Optimus Prime figure. Moving on, we have another Optimus Prime figure. This is also from Dark of the Moon. I'm not sure what figure this is specifically. This figure is also missing parts, sadly, because it's supposed to have some pieces off, hanging off the shoulders, which are the doors for the truck mode, but he's unfortunately missing that. But that's all he's missing, thankfully. This Optimus is very detailed than the Voyager I just showed off. You see, like, the head is painted in much better. It has much more mechanical detail, and the legs look better and have a... He has a better color scheme. He has a lighter shade of blue than the one before. So yeah. Well, the one thing I really dislike about this Optimus is the way they did the arms. Like this is just stupid. Like this is just so lazy. Like the least they could have done is add a joint to have his like wheel section here like bend down or like fold underneath to make it look a little bit nicer. But nah. And the only thing that transforms on his figure on his arms is that hand goes in and this piece just goes up. And that's literally it. That's just so lazy, I swear to God. So yeah, posability wise, this figure is also pretty good. And the kibble management on this one isn't too bad. As you can see, and there's some kibble on the back of the figure. See, there's some kibble on the back of the figure, but it's not too bad. I mean, it looks okay. Possibility wise, he has a rotation at the head, no ball joint, sadly. A rotation at the arm. The arm can move out. He has an elbow bend and a elbow swivel as well. His hand does absolutely nothing. So that's great, was the you want me to say? His waist also doesn't swivel due to the transformation the way it is designed his legs have a rotation can move back that far like that far and just a knee bend here and his foot can move down and that's about it yeah this is an okay optimus figure just too bad that it's missing some core components now the very last thing that I got is this Dark of the Moon Starscream figure. Now unlike the two Optimuses, this figure is fully complete, except he doesn't have that one gun that he came with. But I mean, he never had that in the film, so I really don't care. He's in very good condition, none of his pieces are broken off. Yeah, this was a pretty good figure for its time. I mean, it's still pretty decent. I mean, the Studio Series is definitely a bit better than this, but it's still a pretty nice figure, this one. Let's see. Now, for articulation, he has a rotation at the head, rotation at the arm, can move out. He has a forward and backwards bend at the elbow. He actually has two bends here. 
although his arm is a bit awkwardly positioned. You can see he has a double bend at the elbow, actually, and his wrist can move in and out like that. Then he has a rotation at the leg, can move back that far, can move in like that due to the transformation. He has these chicken legs, so he has like two sections of bend at the elbow, and his toes can move down. He can adjust his little heels here I'm to stand up. But unfortunately, my figure is also a bit defective because like some of his joints are just terribly loose. Like you can see his arm here, his joint. It's just stupidly loose. And the biggest tragedy is his legs. I mean, this section is just, just, just not good. Very unfortunate as the legs are all floppy like that. So, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video of mine. And he fell over. Yep. Kind of shows how floppy the legs are on this dude. It's kind of hard to stand him up in general. So, I mean, not that big of a surprise. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye and peace out.